Hi, I'm David, and I'm happy to be your guru for today. This is a rough cut sample of what awareness and coping with fears of the future can appear as. The word coping can also be considered to be a cue to consider the word transmuting. Events occur in the world every single day, every single minute, every single hour of which we are not aware. Our reactions to these events are a mix of our conditioning, our fears, our reactivity, our beliefs, our hopes, our dreams, and the presence of love in our hearts. Whatever all those things may be, realize that right here, right now, you are breathing. You are aware. If you feel motivated to make a difference, to make an impact, first realize that if you have stillness in your heart, if you can feel love in your heart, and if you can be identified with and come from your higher self, what you see will change. What you feel will change. What you think will change. And what you do will change. If you truly feel called to help better the world in some way, realize that that motivation comes from love or fear. Reality is what it is. The results of the recent election are in. This is something we must accept. Whatever results you are hoping for, whatever results you wish could be changed, reality is what it is. And the key to realizing your own power is first unlocked and first discovered by allowing that healing to come from within. I'm now going to go into a mock interactive session where I will pose questions and answers um, that can then be broken down into a fractalized, fragmented tree and eventually categorized and eventually built up into a larger library so that over time, potentially analyzing search data and user data um, and other things, other ways you may interact with this app, all of these will be cached responses for you. Um, so this video is only meant to be watched linearly um, in a very early prototyping phase by an internal team. Question number one. I am so afraid of the future. There's all these things, example ABC, that could happen. What do I do? What could happen? I am aghast, I am shocked, I am concerned, I am worried. Response. What will happen, will happen. There's a lot of ways to see it. Whether you see this as universal karma, as a cue for awakening, or as a challenge to rise up to, realize that if you come from a place of stillness within your heart, you will be more capable to act in ways that you feel are right. Nothing has happened yet as of this recording. And if you are listening to this when something is happening or is discussed to happen, realize that you can be calm, you can be still, you can be grounded, and you can act from a place of grounded stillness. If you take care of your health, if you take care of your highest priorities for your continued survival and well-being, and if you can work to set aside the time to meditate and be present, then your actions can come from a place of stillness where you can make a higher impact. There are many people all over the world who are faced with challenges every day, some darker than this, some not as dark as this. There are people who deal with paralysis, there are people who deal with the sudden death of family members, there are people who deal with sex slavery, there are people who deal with bloody revolutions. In every case, there is an individual choice of alignment. How are we aligned? Where are we coming from? Do we have the training? Have we had the practice? And 
as you can choose to begin one of three guided meditations by clicking here, here, or here. We can help you get calm and get into one of those states. Question number two. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel confused, I feel flustered, I feel trapped. I feel as if my rights could be infringed upon. I feel like I have to make important decisions. I don't even know if I should use this app. I don't know if I should leave the country. There's all this fear. What should I do? Please help me decide what to do. You can analyze all the information about me. You can analyze my face, my tone of voice. Help me solve the potential problems. Answer. Throughout history, courageous men and women have been resourceful. Victor Frankl and Le and Frank. Victor Frankl, Anne Frank, Helen Keller, Martin Luther King, Abraham Lincoln, Mahatma Gandhi, Rosa Parks. All of these were examples of individuals just as human as you, who were able to be courageous, who were able to be aligned and do what they felt was right for themselves and their fellow mankind. For themselves and their fellow citizens. You too can find that place of stillness and resilience. The path to act in ways that maintain your safety, in ways that can maintain your lifestyle, your composure and your options, do exist. We are in a period of change. We are in a period of accelerating change, potentially exponential change, depending on the sector. Technology is definitely a sector of exponential change. The path of least resistance to action yesterday may not be that same path tomorrow. As a whole, over the last 50 years, over the last 100 years, over the last 200 years, over the last thousand years, the standard of livings have increased, quality of life has increased, and options for individuals have increased. While you may need to be more resourceful and to may while you may need to be resourceful and look for alternative ways to accomplish your goals, those ways do exist. And just like a tree in a hurricane, and just like an oak tree in a hurricane, you can be supple and bend, or rigid and snap. Bending may be uncomfortable, but in the long run, it's healthier than snapping. You can choose where to plant your roots, you can choose what direction to grow your branches. You can choose how much and when to flower, and you can choose to support other trees and shade other humans. Know that you have options and that you have choices. And while some may take more effort and more time than others, all is not lost. Far from it. There are others like you. And whether you feel you can find them or not, we are here for you. And you can be here for yourself. I'm feeling panicked in this moment. I don't know what to think, say, or do. I don't know if I should eat or smoke or drink or leave the country or join a monastery. I'm freaking out. Please help me right now. Breathe. Take a long, deep inhalation. Breathe from your abdomen. Breathe from your chest. Fill yourself up with white light. Pause and exhale. Close your eyes if you wish, or close them partially. Breathe again. Fill yourself with white light. Do not allow yourself to con fill yourself with white light. Do not jump on thoughts. Do not allow thoughts to continue unhindered. Focus on your breath as you inhale, as you exhale. Feel your hand, feel your chest, your face, your legs. Wiggle your toes, feel your feet. If you are physically unable to do any of these things, imagine them. And if you are physically able to do these things, feel grateful for your ability to do them. There are many individuals in our 
world who have come out of very dire personal straits as you breathe in and fill with white light. And as you exhale that white light with any amount of any color, any shape or substance cleansing your body, and realize that those individuals, whether they be prisoners of war or otherwise, have come out and rebuilt their lives, and your personal situation will not be so dire. As you breathe in white light, clench a muscle, and as you unclench it, allow whatever negativity you may feel to flow out of you smoothly, gradually, into a white whirlpool of vortex just inches away from your body. You can heal yourself as you inhale white light, allow it to circulate, and as you exhale whatever you wish to be cleansed of. You may continue this process if you found it helpful by clicking here for three minutes, five minutes, and ten minute exercises. I encourage you to do this throughout your day and to have this be your first response to fear or to any fear-based reactivity. Whatever else you may feel you need to do, allowing yourself this time of self-care in body, mind, and spirit will help you reset your autonomic nervous system, your vagus nerve, and your mental and spiritual and physical capacity to deal with stress. As you are reset and relaxed and full of love, you will be able to act more swiftly, more strongly, and with a clearer head. As you realize your happiness comes from within and not from external sources or events, you can walk in your own strength. You can persevere in your own love and light. And no matter what, know that I am here for you. Know that you can be here for yourself. And know that whoever you connect with, in whatever way, shape, or form, you can find peace. Life goes on, and you go on. And whatever your beliefs of consciousness Realize that there is more than enough science to validate this practice. Realize that you have the life experience to do this practice and others like it. And realize that whatever effects you wish to have in the world, you can be more grounded, more calm, and come from a place of internal equanimity and peace by taking care of yourself. This is a gift for you, and I wish you all the healing and all the strength you feel you require. I hope you enjoyed those exercises. This was a sample of what's to come in future software videos and iterations. Comments and feedback would be greatly appreciated. Um, this may have been a little long, but I feel a lot of people may need it and may appreciate it. I definitely needed it right after the results came in and the following morning, which was actually today as of this recording, and just know that life continues, that you continue, that by investing time to watch or create content like this, you can help one person at the very least, and even if that one person is just yourself, that's the difference you made having more love and less fear in the world. And to get practical, once again, any action that you feel you can take to make an impact for the causes you cherish and believe in, those actions can be more impactful and meaningful if you can come from a place where you can act from love, you can be proactive and not reactive. I wish you all the best on your journey. And... I wish our country, our world, our planet, and the future of civilization, all of the positivity, 
all of the progress, all of the hope, and all of the grounded, objective, rational actions that we can take. We've recovered from a lot of stuff in the past, and wherever your imagination is inclined to go, realize that whatever has happened has happened, and the future is as yet unwritten. It starts with you, and I believe in you. Namaste.